Good morning. It's time for science. In natural science class, we're learning about living things. Yes, living things. You are a living thing. I am a living thing. Dogs and cats are living things. Insects, trees, plants. There are many examples of living things, and we study this. In fact, the first thing we learned was the difference between living things and non-living things. For example, you know that animals are living things, but a table is not a living thing. Or a flower is from a plant, which is a living thing, but a door is not a living thing. It is a non-living thing. You know, for example, that bacteria is very small. We can't see it, but it is a living thing. And in contrast, for example, a shirt is a non-living thing. So the first thing, you know the difference between living things and non-living things. No problem, right? The second thing, we learned a classification. And a classification is when we put living things into groups. We learned five groups. Do you remember? I think you remember. The first group of living things is... Hmm, animals. That's right, animals. I'm an animal, you are an animal, yes we are animals. Dogs, cats, lions, tigers, insects are animals. Fish, birds, reptiles, amphibians, they're all animals. And animals is one big and important group of living things. I'm going to put it here. Animals. Do you remember the other groups? There were five groups altogether. Animals is the first one. The second one that we learned is that's right, plants. Trees are plants, right? I'll put this here. <clears throat> and do you remember the other groups? Let's see. The other groups are a little bit more difficult. Hmm. There was one group that we called fungi. Fungi. Hmm, what is fungi? Well, mushrooms are fungi. Some people think they're the same as plants, but they're not. They're different. Why? Well, because plants use photosynthesis to get their food. That means they use the energy from the sun, and fungi do not. It's different. So it's a different group of living things. Fungi. I'm going to put this here, but this one is not so important for us, not for today's activity. Fungi, boy, can you see it? I think you can see it right here. All right. <clears throat> and then in our book, they said there was one more group of really two things. They said other organisms. And other organisms, they included algae. Algae refers to seaweed. Also, it's not the same as plants. It's a little bit different. Uh, so algae, I'll put up here. Now we can see that. And there's one more group. Tiny, microscopic organisms called bacteria. Okay? Bacteria. I'll put that here. Well, <clears throat> here I am with these five groups of living things. But today, I don't want to speak about the classification. Today I have a fun activity for you, and it's all about food. Yes, food. Food, food, food. Mm, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? You know, many people are eating a lot of food. Mm, that's good. Now that we're in the quarantine, Everyone's at home all day, and they eat and eat and eat. We have to think about the food we eat because, of course, we have to be healthy. And not only this, I want you to think about food 
to classify food in living things. Do you know that we eat all kinds of living things? Think about this. Our food comes from animals. Our food comes from plants. And yes, our food can come from fungi, from algae, and even bacteria. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Let me give you one example of each one. The first one, I'm already finished. Hmm, what is this? It's a banana, and a banana is a fruit, and fruit, what group is it from? Well, fruit comes from plants. So when you eat a banana, you're eating a plant. Plants give us food. Hmm, okay. What about animals? Do we eat animals? Oh well, yes, of course we eat animals. We eat animals all the time. In fact, today for lunch, I'm going to eat an animal. Let me show you. Can you see this? This is going to be my lunch. What is it? It's fish. Fish is food, of course. It's healthy food, and it comes from animals. So that's another example. But now, more difficult. Can we eat fungi and bacteria and algae? I have an example for you. Maybe you've never seen this before, but think. Fungi for food? Aha. What is this? Can you see it? Well, these are mushrooms. And I'm going to eat one mushroom for you. It's not bad. Um, mushrooms are fungi. Another thing, maybe you don't know. You know what this is? This is called yeast. In Spanish, it's called levadura. It's very important to make bread. Important to make bread. And yeast is also a fungi. It's true. Microscopic, but it's a fungi. Another thing, algae. You know, a few weeks ago, I was shopping in Mercadona, and I saw that they had this. And you can buy it, and you can eat it. It's like seaweed. Yeah, not my favorite, but yes, algae can be food. Hmm, so we have algae here. And bacteria? Do we eat bacteria? The answer is yes. In fact, you eat bacteria every day, but you don't know it. What is this? An actimel. Can you see the name? It says El Casse. El Casse is the name of a bacteria. And this bacteria is in this, and it helps to make this product. We, sometimes we think bacteria is bad, but not all bacteria is bad. In fact, we eat bacteria. And here's to you. I'm drinking millions and billions and billions of bacteria. And they go in and they help my body in the process of digestion. Well, I have a question for you now. And now you have to think. Is there anything that you and I can eat or drink that is not from a living thing? Is that possible? Let me think, almost everything is from a living thing. But yes, there is. In fact, it's one of the most important things that we eat or drink. What is it? Water. Think about this. Water is probably the most important thing for life, but water is not a living thing. It's not an animal, it's not a plant, it's not a fungi, it's not a bacteria, it's not algae. It's necessary for life, but it's not a living thing. <clears throat> Can you think of any other examples? I'll give you one more. Do you know what this is? It's Salt. Salt is a mineral. 
and we use it for food all the time. Of course, we don't eat salt alone. We put it on meat or in other products, but salt is a non-living thing that we eat. And in fact, other minerals and vitamins that we need are also non-living things. But those are just two examples because I want you to think. Most of our food is living things, but sometimes we do eat and drink non-living things too. And now, to finish our class, we are going to play a game. And in this game, I'm going to show you a lot of food, and maybe I'll make you hungry, I don't know. And what you have to do is you have to tell me what group of living things does this food belong to. Are you ready? Here we go. We'll go fast. Number one. It's a banana. What group? If you said plants, correct. Number two. Sugar. Sugar. It's okay to have sugar, but not too much. But what group is it from? Well, it is, it comes from a living thing. It comes from sugar cane, which is a plant. What about cheese? Hmm, cheese, think. Cheese comes from milk, and milk comes from animals. So it comes from animals. Also, so you know, bacteria is necessary to make cheese. So it's a combination. Okay? Okay. Another one. Hmm. 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 An apple. Apples come from plants, of course. Tuna. Hmm. Tuna is a fish, which is an animal. That's right. Another one. <clears throat> Potatoes. Potatoes come from plants. Butter. Butter also comes from milk, which comes from cows and animals. More. Rice. Rice is very important for food, and rice is a plant. Mm, a more difficult one. Chocolate. Mm, chocolate, chocolate. Where does chocolate come from? Well, chocolate comes from different ingredients. One ingredient is the cacao bean, and the cacao bean is a plant. So to make chocolate, you need plants, for sure. But most chocolate has milk in it, too. Milk chocolate. So animals are necessary, too. Also, chocolate has sugar, and sugar, as we know, comes from a plant. So chocolate is a combination. Like many other products, for example, in my family, we love to eat cookies. It's okay to eat cookies, but not too many. And cookies also have sugar, which come from plants. Sometimes they might have milk or other products that might come from animals. But in general, they come from sugar and flour. Flour, which comes from wheat plant. A few more. Almost finished. Eggs come from animals. Pasta, macaroni, comes from plants. Milk comes from animals, of course. And juice. Juice comes from plants because it's taken from fruit. Well, boys and girls, today we have learned a lot. We remembered about living things and non-living things. We remembered the five groups of living things. This is the classification of living things. And we played a game speaking about food. And you had to tell me 
what kind of living things the food came from. And remember, now that we're at home, it's important for you to be healthy. Have a good day. See you later.